Well, hello everyone. This is Carrie Beck with How to Homeschool My Child. Oh, wrong company. Family eBiz. Well, you probably know I have a homeschool business too. This is Carrie Beck with Family eBiz, and I'm excited to be here today. I am going to be talking about how I use some special emails to make more affiliate sales in the last bundle that I participated in. So let's get started. Lam, a week, week and a half ago, actually it's about two weeks ago because this is Monday. It was um, a week ago Thursday. I was working on a bundle called Ultimate Homemaking Bundles and I sent everything to my homeschool um, group and some of them responded when the second day deadline hit with some extra bonuses. I had a lot of sales which was encouraging but then the next day happened and I was like you know I put a work at home mom resource in this bundle because there's a whole section on working at home. Why have I not emailed y'all? Y'all are my work at home mom people. Why have I not emailed them? Why have I not told them about my resource that's included and the other resources? So I decided I would send an email specifically to my work at home moms, not my homeschool moms. Maybe they were homeschool moms, but ones that were tagged as work at home moms. So I sent this out on a Saturday, not my best day. But let me tell you what I included and then the results. So what did I include in this email specifically to work at home moms or people that wanted their own business, side hustle, those kinds of things. I first identified with them specific struggles for work at home moms. When you're trying to work at home and be a mom and even maybe be a homeschool mom, my biggest win as a work at home mom, what was the best thing that I could do for myself when I was working at home, when I'm working at home and my kids were still here. Then I looked at the bundle and I shared my top four ideas, resources, my top four picks in that bundle. And I started with my own course because I believe they are, they already know me, they already like me, they already trust me. They are looking for my resources. So I started with that and I told them how this could help them as a, um, a resource for them because it specifically is all about what zone you're working in when you're at home and are you working, there's four zones and are you working in the top one, the zone of genius where you can have less stress and make more money. So I told them all about that course, all about it in about five or six sentences, three paragraphs. Then I named three more courses in the bundle that would help them as a work at home mom. And they were not all working women, working mom courses. One of them was called Make Ahead Breakfast and Lunch Plans because I do not, I never have liked making lunches. And if I had had that resource when my kids were here and I was trying to work at home and homeschool them and keep up with them and have a marriage and a family and all the things you have to do, I would have loved it. And how this resource about make ahead breakfast and lunches would help them so that they could look at other parts of the bundle as well. Um, so I had told them all of this. I told them my struggles, my challenges, my top picks. Then I added a stack value, just in a sentence or two. I said, you know, if you bought these four products, you would individually, and they really sell, like mine, if you go to my shop, you would have to pay $27 for my resource. Um, but if you bought all four of them together, you would have to pay $499. And you right now can buy this, I think it was $37 or $39 for the entire bundle. I told them that so I could, they could see the value of getting this bundle and the way it could help them. Then I reminded them of the deadline. I gave them the link, signed my name, and then the PS. I always think PSs are important. From what I have understood and researched, PSs are one of the most read parts of an email. My PS was my bonus offer. If you buy this bundle and you use my link and I confirm that, I will give you this bonus. I immediately, within an hour, had two sales, two sales for my work at home moms that I had just ignored for two days. And then the next day I had more rolling in. And so I decided, okay, if I can immediately within an hour get two sales and make commissions, I need to do something else. So what did I do overall? Here's what I went on to do moving forward. 
I only had two more days to promote this. So first of all, I made sure I had included an opt-out. At the bottom of each email I sent about this bundle, I had an opt-out and I did not send it to anyone that didn't want to hear about the bundle. 24 hours after I sent my original email to the work at home moms, I did something called a resend. I resent it to everyone that had not opened it. In my, in a Weber, you have the ability to send, I can say, give me everyone that did not open this message. And then I made a segment event. If you ever heard about segmented emails, that's what I did. I made a segment. I did not send it to people that opened it on Saturday. On Sunday, I only sent it to people that had not opened it. And so I sent that. And I sent it um, at a different time than when I was sending my homeschool email. And I changed the subject line so that it was a completely different subject line. I don't, rem I don't have my opens here, but I will give you my, um, my results at the very end. Then the next day, the very last day, I sent three emails to my work at home mom list. Here's what I did. And I sent them at different times than I was sending my homeschool list. I made sure that they didn't get two emails from me, one from homeschool and one from family eBiz all at the same time, even if it was an hour or two apart. So my first one was at 6 a.m. and I talked about the cheat sheets that were a bonus and how that could help them save time. Because if you are a work at home mom, you are looking for ways to save time and be able to only spend time in the resources that are helpful to you. And this $10 set of cheat sheets would do that for you. Um, below the PS of that email, I completely included the whole first email because some of them may not have seen the email at all over the weekend. If you're like me, I don't really like to, I don't like email at all, but I try not to open it very much over the weekend. So I gave them my whole email about cheat sheets, I drew a little line, and then I said, in case you didn't see this, here's what I'm talking about. And it gave those four products and the stack value and the deadline and my bonus. At three o'clock that day, so at six in the morning, I sent that email. At three o'clock, I resent it. If you didn't open the six in the morning um, email, then at three o'clock, I resent it to you. So I had to resend. And then at seven o'clock, I sent a last minute reminder to anyone that had not opted out. If you opted out on any of them, I wasn't going to send you anything on Sunday or Monday. But if you opted out, I'm not going to send it to you. But at 7 o'clock, I sent a last-minute reminder with a timer. So you only had, I think at the time, four hours or, I don't know, five hours, whatever it was. And you could see the countdown depending on when they actually opened that email. What was the result? So let's say all my bundle sales. Since two days, I didn't do anything. And then I started... I made some money, I made some more money on a resend, and then the last day I made money. So, what did I do? 32% of the sales for the entire bundle came from my work at home moms. I had ignored them for two days, so I know now with this bundle, I shouldn't do that. I spoke specifically to their challenges and their um, ways that they could be successful. I spoke their language about working at home and all the things that they are going through. I spoke to their needs. I was very specific in the products that I um, recommended. They weren't the ones that I recommended. Well, the lunches was, but they weren't the same ones I recommended to my homeschool list. I spoke specifically to them. Even on my homeschool list, I spoke specifically to what they needed help with. I did not ignore this segment once it got started and realized I shouldn't. It was a little bit more work for me. But how did I figure all this out? I actually used something called advanced tracking links. And in those advanced tracking links, I can see my sales and see, did they come from my homeschool list? Did they come from my uh, family eBiz list? Did they come from a Facebook post? Did they come from the upsell that the bundle actually had? I had a lot of things that I could look at. And it said that 32% of all my sales that week with this company came from my work at home moms.
That spoke volumes to me and made it worth my time that it took to create a new email and then to send all these extra emails out as well. So what are you doing with your list? Are you sending everyone the exact same email even though they have different interests? I don't know you. I don't know your list, but let's say you have a food blog, but you also have some homemaking tips. Maybe you need to send a different email to the foodie people than you do to the homemaking ones or whatever. There are so many ways that we can segment our list. I do have overlap between my work at home moms and my homeschool moms. Right now, I'm actually sending, and you're probably seeing it, writer's toolkit. So I am sending a different email about the writer's toolkit to my work at home moms and my bloggers and my online businesses than I am to my homeschool moms. They have different needs for writing. One needs to teach their kids how to write. The other one is actually learning how to write and be successful because they have to write emails and blogs and everything else. And so that is what we're looking at. Are you speaking specifically to different segments? And your segments will look different from mine. If you need help understanding the segments in your list, leave a comment or send me a, a direct message and we'll talk about it. Anyway, that's what happened to me. That's how I made extra money by sending extra emails that were very specific to a segmented list. I am Carrie Beck with FamilyEbiz.com. Um, Y'all have a great day.